<laughs> do 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 do. Look at me all. You think that's a white shirt? It is, but it's the working shirt. It's loaded with paint. It's got paint all over it. But I do wear it whenever I have to go and work in the outfield where you have to be kind of pretty. But at the same time, you know, I'm working, so it can't be a work shirt. You know, I just kind of got up this morning late. It rained last night. It's our first real rain in so long. My rain barrels are all full up. My plants are kind of beat, but I think that they're, it was their first time ever getting whooped by the Lord. Uh -huh. But anyways, uh, let's just hope the best for them. But anyways, I slept in. And I feel good. And uh, I have lots to do. But uh, this morning, you know, there's an onslaught, you know, if you, you know, haven't been asleep or underneath some rock somewhere. But, uh, you know, there appears, you know, that, you know, a lot of what we would consider truther channels are people that have an alternative view of the way things are, the status quo, so to speak, are gone. They're disappearing. And um, some of these places I know is to be very truthful. And the idea is, is that we're not following what's being told to us. And so that's what I'm asking about. You know, today, you know, we only got like four or 24, 27 people watching and listening to the, us in our little forum. So I don't think they give a damn, you know. Don't see us as any kind of threat or anything like that. But generally, you know, I've been saying that if I got in trouble for probably cussing or, you know, because I'm taking the sex out of the Bible, you know, that's wrong, you know. But, um, <clears throat> you know, most of these, these stations out there, these guys that are preaching God in all their different ways, you know, stirring up, you know, Armageddon and the end times scenario, they're monetized and money and making out all over the place. Just having a great time selling lies. You know, I mean, that's, you know, I mean, it's a no-brainer, you know. But all those people that I know that are actually telling stories about, you know, what it means to, you know, for this symbol, what does this symbol represent, you know, and what what is this going for, you know, the guys that are recognizing the things and are bringing light to the dumb to those people that want to know and come find out there's a whole mess of people that are looking for this information because why why do we have to follow the mainstream narrative if it's a lie if it's a lie if it's wrong and it's there seems to be a direction that we're being led in and you know and being boonschwoggled it's all a part of it and you got to be used to it you know it's, it's like me being berated the other night by my, by my best friend just because I'm there, you know, and that I have to do it. <clears throat> Otherwise, I don't care for them, you know. So isn't that weird, that idea that, you know, because, again, earlier when I lost supposed other friends is because I didn't get with the narrative. I wasn't going along with with, with a gay point of view that we had to love and, and honor Hillary, you know. That's, that's a shame. <laughs> There's a conscious thing inside of most people that when functioning correctly would tell you the right way to handle some of this stuff. And most of it is to separate, you know, get away from it and think about it. And if you were like us, we take it up to God. This idea of sitting down and meditating, being quiet instead of acting on it, falling apart at the same time. It's not the way to go. That's what we're told to do. That's the outside world of things. But you just need to take that shit upstairs. Talk to mom and dad. This wisdom, this idea of connecting up to a higher conscious will bring you the answer. And that's how it works. But what you have to understand and what you have to push around to your friends and everyone that you know of. You don't have to talk about this stuff. You know, it kind of freaks them out. But the idea that, you know, just ask them, why is it that we have to follow along with the mainstream narrative? You know, these guys are owned by one or four different people. 
you know, there's only one side and listen to them all hating, you know, our president. There's just some absolute garbage going on in our media. I haven't watched it for over 10 years. That's how long I've been without a television. All right. They're around me and stuff like that. And I have my, of course, I have my computer and anything that I want to see, I can find it. But anyways, I don't know anyone that goes up and wins anything at Oscars. I don't even watch them. I don't know anyone who gets Tonys. I don't watch movies. I don't know. I've listened to a lot of the comics and stuff like that, but I've stopped that too because they're all politics. It's the, I mean, we get all our news from comedians, you guys. The, this is a, if you don't recognize and understand that in our Bible it says that all lies, lies come from the devil, comes from the lower conscious. This is mankind, all lies. So do you see truth isn't real important to any of these guys, especially what these guys are. These guys are big name motherfuckers and they got money coming in, you know, because ads are showing on their properties or on their things and they're, that's the whole point of YouTube was to make millionaires out of you and all you have to do is tell you tell your story or invent something make something new listen all I'm doing is helping unveil something that was really true very truthful and it unveils the very fabric of this world this unveils it I don't have to be fancy to talk about it. I just relate the way the Bible speaks to us and the way we we're supposed to have learned and you know we have found out a whole mess of stuff so all they have to do is just click once and I'm gone you know banned maybe for what telling the truth that's what all these other guys are, are all are complaining about all I was doing was telling the truth you know the cabal is out to get us, you know, and you you could see all these electronic enterprises. You know, I've got Patreon, they say, you know, with Patreon, Patreon's going to stop giving you money, too. They're going to say, hey, you know, we're supporting, we're not, we're not supposed to be doing this, you know. That'd be like saying that, uh, that the church supported Hitler, right? We can't have that. The Catholic Church supporting Hitler. Oh my goodness, no, hell no. Ban. But anyways, why? It's like a book burning going on, you know, except there were no books. Were they just fishing for all this information and then when they found it, they were going to stifle us, you know. So it's some kind of a mainstream media event or some kind of, you know, keeping up with the Joneses, keeping up with some kind of a, there's a direction everything's going in, and you know it just seems as if you know. Listen, that uh, that rocket, you know, they've taken the, the out of the public realm or out of government realm, going up and down in space and stuff like that. Put it in a private guy's who is built, who's making all his money million millions off of your taxes and stuff like that. You know, I mean, what did they invent here? This is just ridiculous. The world is just going to shit in the shit pan, and. We have to go with it. We have to go with it. But I want to know, why do we have to live lies? Why is it so important that we not know anything about the past, not know anything at all about ourselves? Why is it, why is it so wrong for us to have an inkling of the truth whatsoever it is? You know, why? Why can't we have our own minds? That's something I wanted to know, you know? Because this censorship, you know, soon it's going to trickle down to us in some way, you know? But this is information you can pass on. We've already done it. The damage is done, you know? But they can keep other people from learning it. And eventually, that's what happens, you know? They're changing the Bible. They're making all, making, you know, one day, like in the Bible says, their word won't be there. You know, people will want to die and they won't be able to, you know, and uh, only because the information's gone. How about all those guys that said they'll wake up in the future? They'll wake up. They have to go through this, this long dormant time. So anyways, this is how I want you to see this. 
you know, to to get a better understanding of it. Because I want, I say why, why, why. I kind of already know why. I just want you to ask, and I want you to spread it around to your friends and ask, why do we have to believe that? Why? Just that's what got me in trouble all my life as a child was asking my mom and dad, why did you have to do that? Is that the only thing that you know how to do? You know, and let me tell you, that did not make me the most favorite son. You know, the why guy. And they always said, you think you know everything. Listen, I have put up with that for a long, long time. And to think, you know, you know, I get hit on it because I do know a lot of things. Okay, now, here's one of these things I'm going to share with you. I've hit on it several times. I've talked about it. This is how you know what the state of the world is in, our conscious, right now, all right? We have just gone into the age of Aquarius, all right? We know Aquarius is representing the truth and the water, stuff like that, but it also represents, oh, in baptism, John the Baptist, Ea, he was the god of water, all right, in Babylonian times, and who knows, all right? His name translated down means John. All right. Ea to John. But anyways, in on 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 uh, in the in the in the zodiacs of things, in the seasons of things, this is winter. After after we go from uh, it goes. Let's see, you know, on the scale of Libra, there's three months, right? That would be uh, Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius. That's fall, all right? And now we have uh, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. These are the winter months. And we just came smack dab in the middle of winter. So in the overall idea of the grand scale of this big year this, uh, that they talk about is that we are in the deep seated times of winter. When the light of the world is furthest away from us and it's very cold and that relates to hell. This all relates to being trapped amongst all of this business and it's going to take thousands of years traveling through this till because it got it has to get its fill it's the opposite of the sun all right it won't be pretty until aries until spring comes that's going to be several thousand years from now as the as the earth turns all right this is procession of the equinox but this great year tells us just where we are and think about that cold as things get cold, as outside man is saying, it's getting warmer and it's your fault. All right, just remember where the lies come from. And then you know, you know, hey, why do we have to believe that? You know, one of my best answers nowadays for these flat earth guys, you know, I don't even give a damn. All right. I told him, I said, I believe that we are still on the the end of an elephant's nose in a little flower. What does it matter? You know, you have to get past these two eyes first. These two eyes are your thieves, right? They see things upside down and they write things up for you on the inside. So you can get past these guys. Don't believe a goddamn thing that you see out there. And for Christ's sake, ask why do you have to believe? in the mainstream narrative or in this direction that the some entity or something is pushing us in why just say why that's all you know that usually means give me an answer all right and if they can't you know I mean when they do you can do it a lie that's a lie you know anyways because we're a lot smarter than that a whole lot smarter so get up there, turn the light on, see if that light can affect the people around you and stuff like that. It's supposed to, you know, we just need more light. 
in this world, even though it's getting darker and darker and darker. All right. And that part of there was a part about that Jesus said, unless he didn't come, he would kill us all. all right. So bring them on, you guys. I love you. And I think the best of you. And let's hope we can do this for a long time. But there'll be one day when truth is not wanted. All right. It's going that way. And the world is getting dumber. Best to you.